George Monker. Go on then, I'm going to ask you, why did you go and celebrate in front of the away fans again? I don't know, it's nothing personal at all. I just, I see an away fan, I always go for him. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I just want to apologise again for him because they did nothing wrong. Just the emotion and the time of the goal, obviously, early on. And I was over the moon to get us off to a good start. Fantastic strike. Uh, we'll forgive you like we did at Fleetwood because that was a momentous day, breaking the club record for EFL games unbeaten and today was another momentous day, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it's the best. Like, I can't put it into words how good I feel and how like, unbelievable the day is for not just the players, the fans, everyone, the staff, everyone involved, like I mean yourself as well, it's unbelievable. So I just can't wait to get back in the championship where this team belongs and hopefully we can uh, yeah, do well in that as well. I mean, listen, we, we've got loads of friends at Barnsley, all of us, we get on well with them off the pitch. There's four of you here, there's two up there of our old players, but the goals you've scored, um, I think Barnsley might be regretting let you, letting you go. It's, it's just what happened, do you know what I mean? It's like, I, I wish Barnsley all the best, I've got nothing to say bad about the club. I'm, I love the people there, the players, and the, obviously the manager has done really well this year, so I take me off to him as well. But it's just one of them things when when you let quality go, it can bite you in, you know what I mean? It can do you up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, nah, listen, they're up as well, and um, we're just going to look forward to next year now. For you boys here, yourself, Elliot, uh, Matty, and, and Luke Barry, that, you know, have got friends up there, it's the perfect one too, isn't it? Exactly. With, with us as number one. Definitely, like, you want to be first, and that's what we've got. We're over the moon with that. And it's great for them as well because they're such a good team and good lads and everyone involved with their team and their club is it's immense. So I wish them all the best and I know they're going to enjoy it themselves. So I look forward to seeing them next year when we play against them. Just back to today's game. I mean, that was a dream start. What a, a strike, another free kick. But then to get a second as well, I think it's the second time you've scored two here, isn't it? The impact you've had in the time you've been here to hear those fans singing your name, it must you know, mean a hell of a lot to you. Yeah, it's, um, it's the best feeling in the world. Like, it's, it's hard to explain as a footballer when like, times, sometimes you're getting hammered by fans, but I've come here and they've done nothing but sing my name, sing my praises. So I've got to take my hat off to them because they've been superb with me so far. Hopefully I can carry on doing well and they won't be on me back, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm, I can only say good words about it and I'm, I'm grateful to be at a club like this. And what a fortnight it's been as well. Birth of your, your first daughter, Sailor Rose. Yeah. And um, now we're sailing back into the Championship. That's it, that's it. Sailor, do you know what I mean? We sailed straight yeah. in there. So. But yeah, uh, it's been a superb sort of two or three weeks. I mean, I think she's about 15, 16 days old. But to top it off with a gold medal around my neck and have my family here, the Lord has provided again, as I'd always say, all glory to him again, because without him, I, will, I don't know what would happen, but I give all glory to my father in heaven and always will. Um, just going back to, to Sailor, she's probably the youngest fan here today, isn't she? I know, she's the youngest fan, but I was a bit scared, to be fair, when all the fans ran on, because like she's, I ain't being funny, she can't do nothing, so <laughs> <laughs> she's here, yeah, she um, probably is the youngest one here, but it's great to... Obviously, when she gets a bit older, I can tell her what happened on the day like today. And your faith, you've just touched on it there. Um, you know, you, you've had some difficult times, obviously, up at Barnsley being out the side. You've spent a lot of time here on the bench because the team have been doing so well, but you, you always have that belief, don't you, to keep you going? Yeah, it's the, it's the biggest thing, like I'd say all the time. Best thing in my life. Blessed me with a uh, first child, a beautiful wife, a wonderful uh, career in football, and a great team like this. So. All glory to him. Well, well done from all of us, George. It's been brilliant since you've been here, mate. Congratulations. Do you have to get two medals as well? Because obviously you played for Barnsley. <laughs> 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 if, I two, if I get two medals, you can have the silver. Well, I don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get, I've um, I think Gary Sweet mentioned it in the week about it. So I don't know. I mean, I know I played 21 games for them. Mm. If they want to send me a medal, happy days. If they don't, it's, don't matter. And free kicks is messed up at Fleetwood, you haven't really taken them out of the clubs, but that's, you've scored three now, almost got another one today, we've done this wide. I mean, the teams aren't really picking up on the, on the, on the, sort of the, the far post, are they? No, they just don't, I don't know, they, probably the keeper's not watching the clips or whatever, but I always try and go around that side and I know that if I connect with it well, like today, I knew I had to swing it quite a bit to get back in again, 
no matter what height the ball's at, if you connect well and do the curve on it, it should go in and it did again today. Mm. Now please win the second goal as well, because you started that from your own box almost, I think, taking it forward yeah. and then on the end of it. No, that's, that's my game in it, like sort of, I love running with the ball, love committing players, obviously play, mm. I think I got a bit lucky at the first instant where I played it to someone, but come back, slipped obviously, Troy McKinney he done really well to cut the ball back and it fell to me and I managed to finish it. And just how has Mick done as well, taking charge of the team as he does? I mean, he obviously he signed you in the end, and, and just what role has he played in it? No, he's been superb. I don't think, I know like Gary Sweet and Bald and that might have wanted me, but Mick's been superb because he's done, he's took over from where Nathan Jones was, you know. I, I, I had the impression that I was coming in with Nathan Jones, obviously it didn't, didn't happen like that, but Mick knows about me, he's seen me before at Colchester, I think it is, and he's done superb, and I can only say great things about him, mate. There's another James in charge, obviously, next season now. Do you know much about the new manager? No, I don't I don't really know anything. Like, no disrespect to him. I know he's been at big clubs, so he's going to be great. Um, and I know that they wanted to bring in a manager that plays a similar way to what we've been doing. So I, I can't wait to meet him and can't wait to see what he's about. And how do you think the squad and this team can, can do in the championship next season as well? Yeah, that, I think we've got, like, enough quality. I know, like, we might have... <coughs> We could have easily closed the league out before today, but I'm not being funny. That that's the best way to do it at home. And I know the quality in the team. We've got strength and depth. We've got everything. We've got yeah, every single attribute we need to do that. Maybe we might strengthen in a few areas, but the better uh, the better players we get, the better we're going to be. So we we'll see what happens. It's important to keep hold of players, well, isn't it? I mean, if you can keep the squad together and add to it, it's be a strong team, isn't it? Yeah, nice. No, like all the lads. I mean, I get on with them so well, even the short space of time that I've been here. I know I knew most of them before I come in and I've got great relationships with all, all the boys. I can't say one word that's wrong about any of them, so I'm really happy to be in a part of a team like this. And was good to get the job done on Tuesday night, so there wasn't the, the pressure and the tension on today really? Yeah, to be fair, like that was it's a it's a big weight like because who knows what would have happened if they did it like it's a different game, you know. So that was massive but um, I was over the moon like all the boys celebrating and everything but today's the biggest celebration and the best day that it could be. That's nice well tomorrow they open to a bus celebration and things in George's Square it's gonna be a, a great occasion isn't it? Yeah no it's gonna be superb but it's any down some um but we um <laughs> no nah, I've never done one of them. I've never been promoted really so it's gonna be a great day and I can't wait to see everyone there. This is your first promotion then that's even extra yeah. special then? No nah, it is it's been that's what I mean it's it is my first one so to be champions of a team like this as my first one, you can't really write any better. It's um, going to say your role's been keeping you awake at night, mate. Yeah, to be fair, last night and Friday night, I had to go in the spare room because <laughs> she would not, like, she would shut up. Better, so, <laughs> but now tonight, I think I'll uh, be cuddling her tonight. So yeah, she's been really good. Like she, ain't, she hasn't really cried that much. But I ain't gonna say it too soon because she probably will. <laughs> she has been awake at night quite a bit, but she's she's been really good so far. And um, at least when you say you're worried about it, uh, she was too young to run on with the rest of them. Yeah. She, That's what she, I mean. Yeah. She just stayed in the stand. Yeah, she stayed in the stand. Then obviously my wife and my wife's mum brought her down to join in, and she was there. But obviously everyone ran on, which I don't I don't blame them for because it's a great day. So. Um, yeah, I was a little bit like sceptical when they did run on because she's only so small, but she was fine. Um, Sailor Rose, spell it as in Sailor Rose? No, it's um, spelled S-A-Y-L-O-R. I didn't really, I didn't have a clue about the name until my wife said about it, but she's, we're quite unusual, so it's an unusual name and we're happy with it. I got a spy who told me it was spelled that way, but I'm not going to tell you that was unless you give me money, alright? That's alright mate. Oh, right, right. Yeah. No, it's for you. Oh, I'm not at this club. <laughs> Go on, mate. Get down here. Joe, was there a point in the season? Oh, you guys have been at the top of the division since January, but was there a point in the season? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking probably mm -hmm. Portsmouth. You had a long knee so slide there. Yeah. At any point during that slide, you think you put something? Yeah, that, like, I think that game got five clear. So it was a big moment. But. Once we've been at the top, we ain't come down. So I knew from that game and the games following that that we had the quality to get up. And obviously we've shown it and we're champions. We obviously went to the last day, which is unusual considering the points has scored, record-breaking season all this time. But I guess that's that's just the quality that there was in this division. Yeah, there's so many good teams. Like I think I've seen it all like this year, where you see a team flying 
they can get beat by an underdog all the time. So it's the same in the championship. I remember that with Barnsley, like we've beat teams. I remember Aston Villa, we've beat Aston Villa. Like, it's been can anything can happen in these leagues. So I just think that if we get off to the start that we can do, and you've uh, shown through our, our, our season, we've got no trouble next year. This, this squad's got a championship quality. All day long, mate.